A hiatal hernia is a common finding during endoscopy. Let's discuss how hiatal hernia can impact your health and how you can best manage it. If you've been diagnosed with a hiatal hernia, it's probably the first time that you've heard of the condition, but it's actually quite common. It's estimated that one in 10 to better than half of people have this condition. A hiatal hernia is a type of hernia that happens inside your body, and let's discuss why it occurs. Your diaphragm is the muscle that helps your lungs move to expand with air, and it also separates your chest from your abdomen but it's an imperfect wall. It has a hole in it to permit the esophagus, and it would have to in order to permit food to travel from your mouth down into your stomach. The anatomic name for that gap is a hiatus, just like your favorite band took a hiatus before their triumphant reunion tour. Normally, the stomach rests snugly beneath the diaphragm, and this position helps limit reflux because the diaphragm reinforces the junction between the esophagus and the stomach. Unfortunately, increased abdominal pressure or weakened and enlarged hiatus may allow the stomach to slip up into the chest. When the stomach moves or herniates up into the chest through the hiatus, you have a hiatal hernia, and you've lost the normal relationship between the esophagus, the stomach, and the diaphragm, and more reflux can result. While hiatal hernias are often asymptomatic, they can make GERD symptoms more difficult to control because they permit more reflux up into the esophagus. And that can cause symptoms of a sour taste in the mouth, a sense that something is stuck in the throat or in the chest. While heartburn is often relieved by acid-suppressing medications, the symptoms of regurgitation can be more difficult to control. And that's because acid suppression therapies are quite effective, while the medications that we have to limit regurgitation are less effective. Hiatal hernia also makes other complications of reflux more likely. The esophagus constantly being bathed in reflux coming up from the stomach filled with caustic substances causes repeated injury to the esophagus, making the condition of Barrett's esophagus more likely, a condition that we discuss in greater detail in a separate video. Similarly, that repeated injury can cause a fibrous buildup that can make it difficult to swallow. These complications can be evaluated with an upper endoscopy, and they can often be treated with an upper endoscopy as well. So how can you improve the symptoms of your hiatal hernia? An immediate change that you can make is to eat smaller meals. The less that the stomach is distended after a meal, the less reflux it permits and the less pressure that it puts to push the stomach up into your chest. So your hiatal hernia will be less of a problem. If you're overweight, losing weight over time, will help to decrease the symptoms of a hiatal hernia. When there's excess abdominal fat, it crowds out the organs in your abdomen, and the stomach has an easy way to escape up through a hiatal hernia. With weight loss, there's less abdominal pressure, and the stomach can again rest beneath the diaphragm. Surgery is not commonly needed. This is a very common condition, and the number of people that actually need a surgery to fix a hiatal hernia is relatively uncommon, because many people can get a considerable amount of symptom relief through acid suppressing medications so that the reflux they do have is less caustic and through some of the lifestyle changes that we've discussed in this video and others. But if you need a hiatal hernia repair, you're going to want to go to a surgeon that has a lot of expertise doing it. They're going to bring your stomach down a good inch beneath the diaphragm and they're going to help secure it and make that hiatal hernia smaller. I hope this video has helped you understand what a hiatal hernia is and its role in GERD and your role in helping to control its symptoms. Subscribe to the channel to join us for more content on how you can control GERD. Thank you and be safe.